All right, so the smaller number that uh, we are talking about here is, is uh, let's say, zero. Because as x is getting so large, we're dividing one by a very large number. You're going to get a very small number, and you can say approximately zero, because there's no limit how large we can make x. It's infinite. Infinite uh, is not a number in itself. It just means a very big number. How much big number are we are talking about here? We don't know. We can make add as big as we want it to be. So this limit will come out to be 0. These are certain rules that uh, you have to keep in mind while finding out limits. That first of all, you want to get rid of the 0 if you have that in the denominator. You can have a 0 in the numerator. There is no problem with it. You cannot have it in the denominator. You cannot divide by 0. That's one of the rules. The second rule is if you're having infinity in the numerator, you, uh, you have got to get rid of it. Like in this problem, why are we trying to make it this way? Why are we trying to simplify it? Because if we just straight away plug in x is infinity, the numerator goes to infinity. Denominator can go to infinity, but numerator cannot. So we first have to simplify this in order to get rid of the infinity that we are getting in the numerator. Once we get rid of that, we can plug in the value of x and we can find the limit. Now let us try some different type of example. It is based on trigonometry. There are certain limits that are predefined, uh, and uh, I'm going to write uh, a couple of them. One is limit x approaches 0, sine of x over x equal to 1, and same way, limit x approaches 0, tangent of x over x is equal to 1. Now, we got the, uh, these two formulas, but how do we use them? Before using them, let us try to understand them. What does it say? The sin x over x formula says that whenever the angle and the denominator are same, they have to be exactly same. So that means if you have sin of x square, then in the denominator you should also have x square. They have to look exactly same. If you have sin of 3x, in the denominator, you must have 3x as well. That's the first condition. The second condition is, the angle and the denominator, they must go to or they must approach a value of 0. If we say this, then uh, uh, let us talk about uh, this example. Limit x approaches 0, sine of x cubed over x cubed. This limit is going to be 1 because the angle which is x cubed is same as the denominator x cubed and the angle and the denominator they both are going to 0 as x approaches 0. If you plug in the x uh, value 0, numerator goes to 0, the denominator also goes to 0. Same way if you have limit x approaches sine of 5x let's say 5x square over 5x square. This thing is also equal to 1 because the angle 5x square is same as the denominator 5x square and the angle and denominator they are both going to 0 as x approaches 0. So it's about the angle that it should go to 0. It's not about the limit. Limit can be anything. The angle must approach to 0 and, and the denominator must approach to 0. With that said, let's take another example. Limit x approaches 1, sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1. This limit is also equal to 1 because as x approaches 1, the angle and the denominator being same and they both go to 0. 
as x approaches 1, x minus 1 goes to 0. So it's about the angle, it's not about the limit. Limit can be anything, but the angle and the denominator, they must be same and they must approach or they must go to 0 on that value of x. The same thing is with the, the tangent as well. So I'm not going to repeat that. You can figure that out uh, on your own. It's not that hard. Now let's try to do some examples. Let's say we want to find out what's the limit x approaches 0 sine of 3x divided by x. This limit is not 1. This is not 1 because the angle and the denominator are not same. Although they are going to 0, but they are not same. So is it possible for us to make them same, to make them look exactly same? Well, we can. What we can do is, whatever is the coefficient of x in the angle, we try to multiply and divide by the same thing. So we say limit x approaches 0 because we want to make it similar. Sine of 3x divided by 3x. Now I have divided by 3, so I am going to multiply the whole thing by 3 also. If you have a constant thing, you can pull that out. So this becomes limit x approaches 0 sine of 3x divided by 3x. Now this thing is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. So the limit of this function is 3. Let us take another example. Let us say we have limit x approaches, uh, let's say 0, sine squared x, sine squared 2x, let's say, divided by x squared. Let's say we want to find out this limit. Now, first of all, we have to get, do something about the square, because we really don't like that. So, let's try to do it. This becomes limit x approaches 0 sine of 2x divided by x and this thing is in whole square. You can take the limit inside, it's uh, not a problem. So this thing becomes limit x approaches 0 sine of 2x over x whole square. Now since the angle and the denominator are not same, this limit is not 1. First I need to make them look like uh, same. So we have limit x approaches 0 sine of 2x. I am dividing by 2. So I got to multiply by 2 as well. Whole square. Now this thing becomes 4 times limit x approaches 0 sine of 2x divided by 2x whole square. This 2 I pulled out here. Now this thing becomes 4 times 1 which is just 4. So the basic uh, rule in finding the limits of trigonometric functions is you only have a couple of uh, uh, formulas like sine x over x in that the angle and the denominator must be same and they must go to zero on a particular value of x. Now in order to find the limits what you have to do is you have to convert that thing into something which is known to you. Like here, in this example, we don't know sine squared x, sine squared 2x over x squared. We don't know the limit. So first we have to convert that into something we know already. We know sine x over x. We know what's the limit of that. So we are trying to convert it in that form. But then again we had a problem. The angle and the denominator was not same. We got rid of that too.